Hey guys, um, so as we are getting into day one of online learning, I've had some parents ask some questions about getting into our Google Classroom. Um, so I just wanted to put this together to clarify anything and kind of show you some of that stuff. Um, so first off, Google Classroom only works in an education account. So you might have your personal Gmail. Your kid might have their own personal Gmail. It's only going to work for their school Gmail account. So if you notice, like right now, I'm signed into my personal account, but I also have my school account. If I were to try to go to Google Classroom using this, my personal account, um, it's not going to work. Okay, um, so I'll show you what it would look like if I was on my personal account. So it's just going to, it's blank. There's nothing there. And I'm not going to be able to actually join a class because um, it's not an education account. So what you need to do if you're running into this issue on your device. The first thing I would suggest is that up here you um, make sure that you are signed into your student's education account um, overall as a whole for Google. Now you can have multiple accounts signed in under one profile and that's what I have going on over here on the side. So um, if that's the case, you're already signed into an account up there, then you can just add another account um, down here. So you click that add another account and add your student's email address from school. So it's going to be something like, ah, it's going to be something like, um, like mine would be K and A U T, the first five of my last name, first three of my first name, zero, zero, zero at stu for student dot rockwall sd.org and then my password's gonna be my lunch number and the first four of my birthday so my birthday is in june so it would be zero six um so i would sign in like that and it will add that account over here on this side and then if you're getting this that says like oh you need to add a code your kids should already have classes in there because we've been using Google Classroom all year. So you just need to click up here and um, on the picture and make sure you're switched over to the school account. And once you do that, all these school, their, their classes should appear. Um, they might have one that they need to add in, but they should already have social studies and they should already have math and they should already have one for their reading and writing class, their ELAR RLA class. Um, so that's it for the computer side. Um, if you're doing it on your phone, it works the same way. And I don't have an iPhone, so I can't record my screen, but I'm just gonna show you from my actual phone. So if I go into the Google Classroom app on my phone, up here in the top corner, there's those three bars. Um, we call them hot dogs. If you click on the hot dogs, it pops up with all your extras. Um, and so if I come over here and click same thing, just like on the computer, um, it'll bring up all my different emails, my different profiles that are on here um, on my phone. And so I can, if this is what I was getting to start with, oops, I'm not on my education account. So I need to click on those hot dogs and switch to my Rockwell ISD account. And then all of my classes will be populated. And if I need to add a class, then I'm just going to click that plus sign and click join class and type in the code right there. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to shoot me an email um, or reach out to me on Twitter. Um, we'll be here helping in whatever way we can. Y'all take care.